So now I have my drums. Now I create my melody. I click the melody track. And you have a lot of options uh, in the sound pack. You have a bass and all this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and use the um, square 01. And okay, this is a cool thing about the app. I'm not going to use it for this tutorial, but I just want to show you. If you just do this and it's on easy chords. It creates chords for you. So you don't have to have any like chord knowledge or have any key skills in order to make a really nice diatonic chord progression. Um, but for now, I'm going to turn that off. So I do that by clicking this and going off because all I want is just a simple melody sound. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Cool. So let me just listen back, make sure everything was fine. There it is. So it doesn't always quantize correctly, you know, which is fine because we know how to fix it. Oh, and if you want to zoom in and out, you just go like that and you go like that. Right? Okay. Delete that and put that there. Cool. And that's good. And now all I have to do is add my bass and I do that by adding another melody track. I really like this acid bass sound. I think it's kind of cool. And I'm just going to go back from easy chords, turn the easy chords off and record it again. Let me try that one more time actually. I did not like what I did. So most of the time when you make a trap beat, the bass will follow the kick rhythm exactly. They'll be lined up perfectly. But for this, um, I'm just going to do kind of my own bass line and because I feel like it will be a little quicker. Uh, and yeah, so let me try this one more time. Cool. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to change one note at the end. So, okay. So for this, I want to make my note longer. So I just hold it and I drag and then my note is longer. And now I have my little beat. Yep. And yeah, it's uh, something that I think you can really mess around with. There's a lot of uh, sound options actually for uh, free and I really think it's a really good app I think it's a great app to get started if you're really serious about production and you maybe don't have GarageBand or whatever So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and stay safe stay healthy and have a great day